As I reached the summit of Home Moss, I was at the very northern point in Derbyshire by road. Crossing the county boundary into West Yorkshire, I passed Home Moss Transmitting Station, which provides radio coverage to a wide area, including Derbyshire, West Yorkshire and Greater Manchester. Just beyond, I got my first view of the Home Valley. I'm now going to descend the other side of Home Most and leave the Peak National Park as I enter Pennine Country and the town of Home Firth. Home Firth is a small town in the Home Valley, within the metropolitan borough of Kirklees in West Yorkshire. Centred upon the confluence of the Home and Ribble Rivers, it mostly consists of stone-built cottages nestled in the Pennine Hills. The town was once a centre for pioneering filmmaking by Bamforth & Co, which later switched to the production of saucy seaside postcards. Home Firth and its surrounding countryside was the setting for the long-running TV comedy series Last of the Summer Wine. Thousands of tourists flock to the area each year to enjoy the scenery and locations familiar from the series. This is Sid's Calf, which was one of the regular locations featured in the programme. Beside the River Home, there is a last of the summer wine shop and exhibition, as well as the wrinkled stocking tea room. Next to all this is a self-catering cottage that will be more familiar to viewers of the TV series as the home of Nora Batty. Nice town home first. It's funny because I never really used to watch Last of the Summer Wine that often. I might watch it occasionally, but it wasn't a series I really got into. But when I did watch it, I enjoyed it more for the scenery that it showed. It was time for me to begin my walk. Climbing up through Victoria Park and a couple of long steep paths, I eventually made it to the top when I reached Hill Lane. Following the road westbound, it became a gorgeous green lane that immediately left the town behind and entered open country.
After a mile or so, the green lane led me into Upper Thong. It is one of a number of old weaving villages in the hills around Home Firth, where, before the arrival of water-powered machinery, the families of farm workers increased their wages by handloom weaving. There are still a number of attractive old weavers' cottages in Upper Thong, characterised by their rows of mullioned windows. At the far side of the village, I got some wonderful views towards the home valley and home moss. From Upper Thong, I followed another green lane, leading me into more spectacular countryside. There are some great place names around here. I've just come down from Upper Thong. Now this next hamlet I'm approaching is called Booth House. Booth House is another old weaving community. I climbed up steeply passing through this hamlet briefly until I was in gorgeous open country again. It was quite a windy stroll across the fields. The path along which I was walking soon came out onto Coldwell Lane, 
which I followed for a short distance before turning off again to take another footpath in the direction of Home Bridge. I'm descending into Home Bridge now, so from there I'll walk down the Home Valley and eventually back into Home Firth. I followed the main road in Homebridge for a while, before turning off along Water Street. Passing a huge old mill, I walked down to the River Home, crossing over to the other side via a very old footbridge. This was the last stretch of my walk as I started to head upwards to gradually veer away from the river. Arriving at Malkin House Farm, I came out onto Brow Lane, from where I knew it was going to be a gentle walk to Home Firth. Well, I'm almost back at Home Firth now, and from here, I can more or less see a lot of the route that I've walked today. Up a thong up there. Booth House there. And then the fields that I took across from there and down into Home Bridge and then back from there to here. So that's a good five mile walk today. Lovely. Continuing along Brow Lane, it became Cemetery Road as I slowly but surely descended back into Home Firth. So here I am back in Home Firth. This is where I started my walk through last the summer wine country. Been really nice indeed. So I think I'm going to treat myself to a nice cup of tea at Sid's Cafe. <laughs> 